I know that it's been a very long time since I've updated this web, uh, this channel. Um, there's been a lot going on. I had school. That's not an excuse, but school as a double major is very hard. There's a lot of classes. I take five classes a semester, and then I have plays, so I haven't been able to update as I wanted to. Um, I guess that's the silver lining in all of what's going on in the world today is that I get a chance to sit down, take a breath, and bring you some brand new content. Um, so let's talk a little bit about what's going on. Um, COVID-19 has spread all over the world. In where I'm from here in South Carolina, we went on a work or like you can only go to work or go get essentials. That did not stop people here in South Carolina from going out and getting TVs and things like that that aren't necessarily essential. Um, so for us here, they, they shut down a bunch of stuff, but at the same time, people were still going out and doing things. Um, and now they have started reopening things. They reopened the beaches, they're reopening um, parks, things like that. So they're getting back to normal, whatever that means. Um, and some people are happy about it. Some people are a little scared. I myself am a little cautious about the whole thing because for me, I have asthma, which puts me a little more at risk. So, and then there are people like my mom who are, have issues with their lungs. So I, I, I understand the economic Part of it that opening things back up gets people back out there but at the same time I'm one of those people who likes to err on the side of caution and if it means that more people are gonna die then I say keep us locked down a little longer but that's not what this this is here for this is not what I'm I'm not going on a soapbox and preaching to you guys we're gonna do we're gonna talk a little bit about COVID we're gonna talk a little bit about what's going on in my life and then we're gonna do some Q&A I um, went on my Instagram and I asked you guys to send me questions. Um, so I have some questions here, but first an update, like I said, we, um, we left school in the beginning of March for spring break and we never returned. So, um, that kind of shifted how everything works for me. Um, I'm so used to having a set schedule. I get up at this time, this time, this time, and I've been sleeping in a lot lately, which is great, but also it scares the crap out of me because I, I'm scared that I'm going to get out of routines and then come fall, it's going to kick my ass. Um, we were in the middle of rehearsing for a play, Three Sisters by Anton Chekhov. That play has now been pushed to fall. We are going to start back rehearsals in fall. For me, that means I have all this time to get off book, which is something I'm working on. I'm also working on <laughs> the... Um, designs for costume. I'm the costume designer for that production. So I'm hoping that this time away from school, this extra time to get this production in order means that I can actually build more costumes than what I was originally going to be able to build. Um, so that's something that I'm looking forward to. And then there's the whole aspect of the actual classes themselves and what's been going on. We shifted to online classes. That's been a learning adjustment. Some classes it's easy, some classes I'm pulling my hair out. So that's kind of where I am academically. Um, I, I have one year left after this. I'm hoping things get semi back to normal before the fall semester. I'm hoping things are semi back to normal before June 22nd because that's when I'm supposed to be going to see Lily Tomlinson. Um, and I'm hoping that that goes off. If not, maybe he'll reschedule for later in the year and I can figure out a way to do that. So um, that's kind of life. That's where we are. And I'm hoping that this time gives me more time to update you guys, to vlog more, to talk more about the F word, fat, um, about body positivity and what that means for me and also my own transformation. Um, so let's get started with some of these questions that you guys sent in. Um, I would first want to say thank you guys for sending some in and some of you didn't send in questions, but you were like, I found your page through Explore and I'm so grateful that I found your page. So, um, I want to start off with a shout out to Mama Blue Villains. Um, I'm going to put that here. 
Uh, thank you for finding me on Instagram, and I hope that you continue to enjoy the content. Um, so, diving right in, let's see here. Um, how's school going? Well, I kind of just answered that one. It, it's going, but it's it's rough. It's a little difficult doing the transition from online to uh, from in class to online, especially a lot of my discussion based classes. I really enjoy discussion based classes because I get more out of it. So with it being online, it's a little harder to kind of get into the material. Um, let's see here. What is my favorite song off of Walls? Walls is the debut album from Louis Tomlinson, and I think my favorite song off of Walls is probably... Oh, I'm going to say Kill My Mind. Um, it was the first kind of one that kind of jump-started it. it. It's really upbeat. It's really, you can turn it on and just dance in your kitchen, our living room, our bedroom, our office, and that's kind of me. I, I, especially right now, I need that energy. I need that pal. So, um, Kill My Mind is probably my favorite. Uh, da, da, da. Chris asked, um, what is my favorite production that I've done so far in my career? And that is really, really hard for me to pick. Um, I did a lot of great things at Greenville Tech, and I've done some amazing things at USC Upstate. And I think my the most fun that I had in a production was doing How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. Um, because I got to sing and dance, and I got to be... Um, a character that I created because I was an ensemble, so I didn't have a character specifically. So I got to create a character in my mind, and, and that was really fun to kind of find that character. And, and then my favorite production that we've done is Anonymous or Stop Kiss. Stop Kiss was um, a student-directed one, and it dealt with LGBTQ, which is something I really support really um battle for i love that aspect of it but also anonymous dealt with some issues that have that go on around us every day that people just kind of overlook um and it was a really powerful production to be a part of so i think that those are two of my favorites that i've done um what's my favorite broadway musical well <laughs> again this is one of those that's really hard to pick um, I loved seeing Dear Evan Hansen, but my favorite has to be Hairspray. I've never seen it, I've never, like, seen the, the Broadway production, except for that one video on YouTube, um, which, uh, but, um, Hairspray is one of my favorite musicals. As far as musicals that I've actually seen, um, Something Rotten, it's probably my favorite that I've seen in person. It's hilarious. It's funny. It includes history and Shakespeare. So that is totally my favorite that I've seen in person. Um, what's my favorite part about writing for the Carolinian? Um, for those of you who are new to my channel and don't know, the Carolinian is the school newspaper at USC Upstate. And for the last year, I have served as editor. Um, the cool thing about being part of the Carolinian was that I got to experience what it's like to be part of the news organization, a news organization, media, and um, I got to write about things that were important to me. So that's one of the best things about being um, a journalist is writing about stories that are important to you and writing them so that people understand what's going on in the world, maybe with a... a little bit of fun thrown in there um we try not to make it too serious unless uh with like stories but we also wanted people to understand what's going on in the world um let's see here da, da, da. what am i doing to stay sane um i have been binge watching a lot of stuff because when I'm in school I don't really get a chance to sit down and watch television because I have classes, homework, and then um, rehearsals for productions. So Jeff and I, my husband, have been watching a lot of um, like 
we we started watching Skinwalker Ranch. We started watching Expedition X, which was so it's so good. I love it. Um, and we 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 watch a lot of uh, cooking shows. We watch a lot of History Channel. So we do a lot of, of a lot of that. Um, and that's one one way I've stayed sane. Um, we're gonna start. We we finished this beautiful office. Um, we're gonna start doing some exercising in here, yoga, things like that. Um, so that's one thing that we're looking forward to as far as getting into and helping stay sane because it's not just about mental, mentally staying sane, but also about physically. If you're, you know, you have to, and then of course, drinking water. Um, let's see here. Have I read or watched anything good lately? Um, I haven't had a chance to read anything yet. I have a couple of books. I have an entire bookshelf over there full of stuff. Um, I have books here. I also, like, I'm starting to read this for a project that I have to do. I just read Master Harold and the Boys for um, my theater and uh, dramatic theory and criticism class. So there are, there are things that I'm going to start reading. I just haven't had a chance to kind of dig in yet because, like I said, I still have school going on. I'm still working on assignments for that. So hopefully May 4th is my last day of classes and I can like sit down and pick up a book that I haven't had a chance to read yet. Um, as far as like watching anything good, um, Expedition X is amazing. It's from Josh Gates. Um, and it's, it, jo we love Josh Gates and this family. This is like, uh, he's like our own Indiana Jones. So we watch him constantly, and anything he does, I, I generally tend to gravitate towards. Um, what is my guilty pleasure television show? It's either going to be <laughs> just looking at me like, um, excuse you. Uh, I always tend to go back to watching Gossip Girl or Gilmore Girls right now. I just finished. I, I'm on season seven of Gilmore Girls again. So... Yeah, it's going to be Gilmore Girls or Gossip Girl or something like that that I've seen 10 million times. Um, what, okay. Who do I look up to? Um, so that's a kind of, no, it's not you. I mean, I do look up to you, but just behind going, I'm like, no. I mean, I look up to him because he's taller than me, but uh, as far as... Who I look up to as a role model, it would have to be like the girls of Little Mix. Um, they're body positive, they're powerful, they're, you know, love yourself, love, you know, that, that kind of thing and that I, oh my god, I love Little Mix. They are so amazing. Also, Lizzo. Freaking Lizzo. Lizzo rocks. I love Lizzo and I love that she's not afraid to be who she is. And to go out there and just rock out. And that is powerful to me. Like, so powerful. And a lot of, I, I know I have a lot of confidence, but I wish I had her level of confidence. Um, last question. What is my favorite song? My favorite song is probably Little Mix Strip. Um, because it's all about empowerment. It's about loving yourself without the makeup, without the hair, without the clothes. It's about loving who you are. So that is probably my favorite song. And I will stand by that completely. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for, oh my God, sorry, my nose is itching like crazy. Uh, thank you guys for so many questions. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. There will be a lot more content here um, lately. Uh, I'm going to upload a video of me singing. If that's something you guys want to see, I don't really do that a lot. I don't post videos of me singing because I've never been confident in my voice, but I'm trying to get over that. So um, that's content that's coming your way. I have two videos recorded that will be posted in the next couple of weeks. Um, and then just let me know in the comments what you want to see. Do you want to see me do my makeup? Do you want to see me um, build a dress? Do you want to see me dance? I, I mean, you tell me what you want to see and I'll do it. Um, I do have some more videos planned, and I will see you guys soon. Thank you, guys.